So the guy who bought these rods off said that they've been checked and that they're all fine and don't need any machining or work do, doing to them. So let's take them down to Hamlin's the engineer and see what they make out of it. I'm not feeling too hopeful that these are going to be perfect, so let's have a look at them. So I've got the needle roughly at the top and then I can turn the dial and then recheck it a few times so it comes up the same. Excellent, yeah. See that needle is now on the zero. How much does temperature affect stuff? Because I did the ring end, I did the piston end gap on one day when it was a bit colder and it, the end gap came out different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. makes a difference. If that mic was very warm, it's fairly cold in here, but where I've been handling it, it's yeah. warmed up a little bit. It does make a little bit difference. And the critical thing with the, with the gauge is rocking it because Obviously, if you've got the gauge at an angle like that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to measure very differently like that. Yeah. If... So we, we put it in the housing and rock it forward, and you can see it's almost on the zero. Each line is half a thousandth of an inch. And that was what we. That's it. That means that that diameter that's is fine. actually set up to what the manual yeah, says. That's, well, that's, that's good. That's the right side. But you've got to spin so that it. That is actually almost half a thousandth of an inch over that size but there'll be a tolerance and yeah, allowance yeah. of that much anyway yeah okay so then you, you check it top and bottom because sometimes they can be bigger at one end than the other that's pretty looks Almost pretty blooming the same. looks you pretty good to me there's a very slight difference but nothing really and then and then you check it two ways sideways you don't want to check it right on the join no so you want to check it Slightly that way from the join, and then slightly that way because the cat, if the cats mismatch, they yeah. be like that. There will be a bit of crush as well, won't there? Or is that not? No, not or there will not be any crush in the actual. No, well that's in the bearing. Okay. That's in the bearing. So now I'll check it there and make sure it's. You can see it's very fractionally bigger. So it's okay. very slightly oval, but we're only talking a quarter of a thousand. Wow, an inch. that's impressive. So that's good. Wow. So that's one. And then check it there, you see it's slightly tighter there? Yeah. Oh, it's closer to the zero. Okay. But that's it's right on the zero there. Wow. So there's, overall, there's about a half a thousandth of an inch. Wow. Variation, which is fine. Wow. Fine. Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty blooming tight tolerances, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit scary, this. Yeah, very good. Especially in scary old Jeep engines, yeah. look at that. Yeah, yeah. They don't always come up that good. No, I've heard um, they're very poor, actually. Yeah. So that one's much the same. That one's just over a quarter of a thousand of an inch over. Pretty much the same. Half a thousand of an inch Jeez. over there. So he's right and they they have been checked. Wow. Uh, they are they are different. Look at that. That's incredible. Yeah. Well let's hope we've still got two. <laughs> That's very good for an old engine. Jeez. That one's slightly more, but it's still less than a thousand of an inch, which is fine. It's almost one thousand of an inch over that way. Yeah. And it's half a thousand of an inch over that way. Okay, so there's half so there's half half thousandth of an inch variation yeah. there, which is I, I could probably improve that slightly, but not gonna not really worth the effort. I could I could grind the face of the cap, yeah, to let it in to make it a little bit tighter, and then we hone it back out to the yeah okay to get it more round. But it's so little that it's, it's not worth right. Last one doing that. Yeah, spot on. Cool. Dead on the zero. Then. Wow. That's a good set of rods. Very nice. Uh, but wasn't that lucky so far? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. So they're perfect for size. Um, and now we're going to check the alignment. The big end housing sits on there. Yeah. 
the space of machines accurately square with that. Yeah, yeah. Good. Told you they were tight. Right. Yeah, that's better. Because if it's loose, then it can flop can, around. Can get a wrong reading. Yeah. Dead square. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That face is open from. So I'm going to put this above the rod. Get the rod in roughly central with that. Now I'm looking for light either side. Oh, okay, so you're just going to visually. There we go. So looking in, looking, you can see no daylight between the no. step. Perfectly, yeah, perfectly that aligned. Means perfectly okay. aligned. Yeah. And, it, and then you turn it round and do it again. If you get a, a very slight bit of light one side and then you turn it round and the light is the same side then you know it's not rod bent it's, it's your tool yeah it yeah slightly out. yeah you don't want to bend tool so you can also check them for quick and then get that lower side by front is also machine yeah okay and you're looking down oh yeah 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 that, that would indicate if the rod was twisted. Was twisted. If the rod was twisted slightly, that's that's not as important. No. It just means the piston's going to sit slightly. Yeah, so I was thinking about rod twist. What does it actually matter? Because all the piston will be rotated slightly in the ball. Yeah, but... yeah. Um, if it's got valve pockets in the piston, then that can be serious. Okay. Well, my kit piston. Yeah, okay. But in flat top piston, it So I can see nothing wrong with that. So that's fine. That's a straight straight rod within yeah. that size. Perfect. Yeah. Good rod. Remarkably good set of rods. The guy wasn't lying. No. Well, how lucky was that? I had imported those rods all the way from America, so I'd spent quite a lot of money on import, postage, things like that. So it was a bit of a shot in the dark there whether those would be good. So when we measured them and everything turned out really nice, I was pretty pleased with that. So uh, yeah, that's worked out well. There aren't, um, well, there's a bit of a problem getting hold of rod sets in the UK. The main dealers don't seem to have any and the ones they do are quite expensive um, because as I said there, one of the dealers told me that they're often damaged or you know out of round and they need remedial work doing to them so it costs them quite a lot of money and labor to sort the rods out into good sets so to get a match set which was perfect from the off uh, without having to put any money into them other than the guys checking them for me you know i thought i'd pay for the extra bit there to have them properly checked and everything uh, it only cost 20 quid just for that peace of mind you know for the for the sake of 20 quid after spending what a couple of thousand on that engine already it would be a bit stupid not to have spent that to check those rods especially as you know i didn't know where they'd come from properly so yeah really pleased with that and interesting to see how he measured and checked those rods as well so yeah awesome well that means then we've got the last piece of the puzzle for the engine which means there's nothing to stop us from getting those pistons in hopefully buttoning it up and getting it all ready and seeing if it's good to go in the jeep so Fingers crossed, things are going well. I'm gonna be moving on now. So we've only got a month or two till the engine gets in the Jeep, hopefully if I pull my finger out and get it running. So things are getting exciting now, guys. Stay tuned and uh, let's keep on going. See you next time.